Hello viewers. Today, we are covering the 5 best space heaters on the market, which are the best for you considering some unavoidable factors that you might miss out without watching this video. Here, we are going to give you an impartial review to find the best from a plenty of irrelevant products. If you want more information and updated pricing of the products mentioned in the video be sure to check the links in the description below. So, let's get started. Number 1. Our overall best pick for the money is Amazon Basics Small Space Heater. The Amazon Basics Small Space Heater is exactly what it claims to be, a compact heater for warming up the air immediately where you're sitting or lounging. It's perfect if you don't want to spend a bundle and don't need to warm up a whole room, but feel chilly when you're working at your desk or reading a book. The Amazon Basics Small Space Heater is a little box that at 5.9 into 3.2 into 6 inches is almost pocket size. In our tests, it was able to raise the temperature in our 15 into 10 foot test room evenly by only about 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit. However, when it was sitting right in front of us, it was able to warm us up by 4 degrees. Because of its low wattage, it has the lowest energy consumption of all the other heaters we reviewed, only 0.12 kilowatt hours. This heater couldn't be easier to use as it has just one heat setting. However, when it's heating, the Amazon Basics small space heater does get warm to the touch, particularly on the front where we recorded a temperature of 123 degree Fahrenheit. We measured a sound level of 51.4 decibels, which is a tad loud for an object that will be quite close to you. At less than a pound and a half in weight, it's easy to tote from room to room and it's so small that it won't take up much room in a closet when it's not being used, it could even be stashed in an office desk drawer. Number 2. Our second best pick is Heat Storm Phoenix Infrared Space Heater. The Heat Storm Phoenix Infrared Space Heater can be mounted on the wall so it's out of the way, or it can sit on a set of attachable feet. With its slim profile and glossy gray or white plastic finish, the Heat Storm Phoenix resembles an air conditioner. In a 15 into 10 foot room, it evenly raised the temperature by 5 degrees Fahrenheit on its highest setting which was similar to the other space heaters we tested. Its energy use is average for a space heater too, at 0.27 kilowatt hours. The Phoenix has a touch screen to control and display the settings. It required a few readings of the manual to get the hang of programming it. The display is extremely sensitive, you have to merely touch it, not press too hard or it won't activate. The brightness of the screen can be adjusted, which is useful. You can set a timer to automatically turn it on or off. A remote is included with the unit so you don't have to get up to control it. However, as the remote is tiny, it could easily get lost in the crevices of the sofa. While it's operating, the surfaces of the heater become slightly warmer than room temperature, but are still comfortable to touch. Number 3. Our third best pick is Honeywell 360 Degree Surround Heater. The Honeywell 360 degree surround heater is a no-nonsense model for heating a small area. It's perfect if you're looking to take the chill off when you're working at a desk or hunkered down on the couch. On its high heat setting, the Honeywell 360 degree surround heater was only able to get a 15 into 10 foot room 2 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit warmer, depending on where you stood, and didn't heat particularly evenly. However, when it's right beside you, it will heat you up in 10 seconds. It uses an average amount of energy when heating, 0.25 kilowatt hours. With only two buttons and two heat settings, the Honeywell is easy to set. Once it heats up, there's a variable thermostat that you can use to stabilize the temperature. As it operates, the surfaces of the unit heat up by about 10 degrees above room temperature, but it's nowhere near enough to be a burn hazard. At 59.9 decibels, this was the loudest space heater we tested, so it's not ideal if you're trying to watch TV while it's running. On top of the unit there's a handle that makes it very convenient to move around, and at 5.4 pounds it's pretty lightweight. Number 4. Our fourth best pick is Lasco FH500 Fan and Amp Space Heater Combo Tower. Although it's over 3 feet tall, the Lasco FH500 is slim and has a clean, uncluttered design. In a 15 into 10 foot test room, at its highest setting, it surpassed every other heater we tested, and raised the temperature perfectly evenly by 10 degrees Fahrenheit. 
it was also quick to heat up, within 12 seconds, we felt warmer. In spite of its great heat output, it drew an average amount of energy in relation to the other heaters. However, there is an eco mode if you want to save on your bills. After you set a precise temperature, the power cycles on and off to reduce energy consumption. The fan can be set to oscillate for even distribution of heat. And you can also set a timer to shut the unit off automatically after up to 8 hours. None of the surfaces on the Lasco itself present a burn hazard if you've got children running around, and it's not too loud either. Inside the Lasco there's a permanent filter which needs to be popped in before first use and then vacuumed every two weeks to keep it in top condition. This heater can be controlled by its panel or by a remote control, which you can store in a pocket on the back of the tower. Number 5. Last but not the least, our fifth best pick is Vornado VHEAT Whole Room Vintage Heater. If you like to be surrounded by beautiful things and you're partial to the mid-20th century aesthetic, you'll love the retro design Vornado VHEAT Vintage Whole Room Heater. Of course, it wouldn't be one of our best space heaters unless it also lived up to its promise to heat a whole room. The Vornado was able to raise the temperature evenly in a 15 into 10 foot room by about 4 degrees Fahrenheit at its highest heat setting. This is a fairly average performance compared to the others we tested. As the head pivots, you can direct the hot air towards your preferred area. It uses less energy than most of the other heaters that we tested, at just 0.26 kilowatt hours. With just low and high heat settings that are controlled by a simple toggle switch, the VHEAT is extremely easy to use. There's also a numbered thermostat that you can lower once the room heats up to save energy. It's admittedly noisy, when it's operating on high, this is one of the loudest space heaters we tested, with a noise level of 59.6 decibels. Its surfaces also get hotter than room temperature, but nowhere high enough to be a burn hazard or even uncomfortable to touch. Its biggest downside is that it's far more expensive than other space heaters that offer a similar performance. But, if looks mean a lot, this could be the one for you. So, grab this while you can. Be sure to check the links in the description below. That's all for this review. Feel free to share your feedback. Like, comment and share our video. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more videos like this in future. Thanks for watching.